My name is Vincent Serencioni. I'm with National Storm Recovery and Rose Transport. And I'm gonna explain to you the operations of a grapple truck. All right, every morning before we start our operation, we do a pre-trip inspection on the trucks, check the tires, the tire pressure, check our lights, all of our running lights, our caution strobe lights, oils, belts, make sure there's no tears in all of our fluids. So we'll start out and we'll show you how we do a pre-trip. All right, so we'll come over here. We'll check our oil, looking good. Check all of our fluids, caps. And we check for our belts. Everything looks good. We'll go to the other side and look at the belts real quick. Everything looks good. Air filter's good. Washer fluid's good. side here now we'll go around and we'll check all the lights make sure all the lights work all your running lights headlights blinkers and strobes so we'll start up the truck first okay we'll check our strobe lights Headlights, four ways. Make sure everything's tight, nothing's loose. Check all the products on the truck as well that could come loose at any time while we're doing a walk around to check all of our lights. Check your mirrors and your steps. Check our hub oil. Lights working good. Check around on the other side. Strobe lights, running lights, all looking good. And we follow the process along on the side as well. Running lights, side lights, all working good. Check the hub oil on this. This is our drop axle when we're running heavy loads. We'll drop this down, it keeps the truck stable and helps the truck brake. And then we'll check the tire pressure. Hot days we usually run around 100 to 105 pounds of pressure because it tends to expand with the heat. Colder days we'll usually run it during the colder seasons in between 110, 105 because it likes to lose air during the winter as it compresses itself. So. We try to keep it in between 100 to 110. As you can tell, it's right where we're at. And then we'll go and we will uh, turn on the PTO and make sure the grapple and everything's operating properly as well. This is our switch that engages the hydraulics to the grapple. Levels here. Make sure the truck is nice and steady. We have a grapple lock here, which locks the turret during transportation to keep it from moving back and forth. This is your upper boom control and your lower boom control. we have a telescopic on the end to reach out to debris to pull it towards us. Not necessarily used to reach out and pick up heavier stuff, more or less to drag it to us. And we rotate and it helps us out picking up odd pieces of wood. Not everything's lined up perfectly. 
and then you have your pedals that rotate what we call the turret that the grapple is mounted on. You got your open and close, which is on the upper boom control, left to right. And then on your lower boom control, we have the rotating left to right. No leaks, no torn hoses. So it looks like we're good to go for the day. You place the grapple in the box nice and securely. Set your pin back down. Lift up your outriggers. Everything is good for the day to roll and start working. That there completes your pre-trip inspection on what we do morning, every morning before we roll out to begin operations. Some of our trucks, we have top loaders which dump. We fill them up completely, they dump, and they run on to the next one. And some of our trucks are rear mount loaders where we load up and it's specifically built for running a pup trailer behind your truck so that we can run up to 100 to 120 yards of debris, running anywhere from 60 to 80,000 pounds. Anything over 64,000 pounds, we require a overweight permit. We haul any type of tree debris, any type of landscaping debris, any type of land clearing debris from root rakings to the actual product that we remanufacture into mulch. We work hand in hand with our competitors. We don't work against our competitors. We make sure that our whole region is serviced properly and everybody is happy. We love what we do here. There's a bunch of group of guys and uh, we work hard and strong, like I said, with our competitors in order to keep everybody happy in our surrounding areas as we serve to please them daily. Thank you very much. I appreciate the opportunity to explain to you how our operations work. Have a blessed day.